I'm going to show you how to overlap text or anything else over an image or any other element without using absolute. This is really simple to do. So here I've got a container which is currently set as a flex box. We are going to modify that. I also have an image and the important bit is that I've given it a class name. I'm just going to call it image. And then down below I have a heading. Look, I'm not really fussed about the content. And I've given that a class name of heading as well, just to keep it simple. Now, you imagine that you have got maybe like free containers, side by side child containers or whatever layout you have. Because you have all these individual containers, what you want to do, step one, is go to the relevant container that contains everything. And it doesn't have to be a parent container. It can be a child container, a grandchild container, as long as it is the container that holds the items. And what you want to do is go and set the layout to be a grid. And when you do that, nothing changes. And you're going to go, well, I'll just go back to Flexbox. No, the grid is important. What we then do is set the number of column and rows to be one and one. Normally, it may be like three columns or two columns or two rows. What you want to do is set it to be one, one. So you'll, you'll have a container, could be a child container. And inside of there, you've gone and got all of your items and they'll be set as a column, like a vertical, right? Below one another, stacked. But it must be a one column and a one row. Like I've just said, you could have two child containers, okay? This one might be the grid. Make sure that is one and one. What you have over here and below, it doesn't matter. Just make sure where you put the items is one and one. I cannot stress that enough. What you then do, and this is how simple and easy it is, you go to the advanced tab, you go to custom CSS and you drop in the code. Now, before I do that, I want to remind you the standard normal way if you were going to do an overlap like this is you would have gone and set like your heading maybe to be something like absolute. And then you need to ensure that you go and set your image and all of that with the horizontal and vertical positioning. And it can get messy. So what we're going to do is pop this back to be default. Make sure you're on the container that contains everything, okay? Not the parent. It could be a child. It could be a grandchild. It could even be the parent, okay? Just make sure you get that uh, in your mind. And this is the code you drop. That's literally it. We have grid column one to two, grid row one to two. So I'm saying the image, because this is one column, one row, start at one, end at two. And you're probably going, where's the number two? No, number two is the edge. Edge one, edge two. For the row, edge one, edge two. Does that make sense? It's working on the edges. What about the heading? Start at one, end at two. For the row, start at one, end at two. It's absolutely fine in the viewing. You're not getting this empty dead space anywhere. So if you don't want to always be using absolute and you've got all your items and they're all stacked, but you want them to overlap, you know, perfectly in the center point or however you've created it, this simple bit of code, once you've set the relevant container to be a grid, is the simplest bit of code I think you're going to find for doing something like this. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that.